werewolves, vampires, mummies, ghosts. For years, these creatures were known as monsters and portrayed in media as the disgusting, ghoulish antagonist. But here on Extranet Files, we'll uncover the truth behind these classic icons and explain how they aren't monsters at all, but actually aliens. With cobweb lining across the sector, the Anar system is the darkest section of the Milky Way galaxy. Not only is it filled with such gloominess, but not even the baddest of the bad will step foot or tentacle in this part of the galaxy. This system is the location of many moons and planets, including Anar Kufos, Anar Phaetos, Luna Lobos, Anar Romero, Anar Vladius, and Anar Transil. We will be visiting each and every inhabited planet and discover the history of what is known as the darkest section of the universe. Anar Kufos is a desert planet in the Anar system, littered with the purple radioactive metal known as corrodium. Due to the extreme heat conditions, the inhabitants have built dome houses to live in, the inhabitants being the alien species known as Thepkufans. Thepkufans are a humanoid mummy-like species with a slight ape-like figure whose bodies are made up entirely of organic bandages. Besides their eyes, these creatures are faceless, wearing wadget pieces on their heads. This species lives in two separate classes, the wealthy, who are able to afford and sleep in stone coffins, and the non-wealthy, who pose as status symbols for their rich counterparts. There is another version of the species who are much more powerful than the standard Thepkufans, although it is rare to ever come across one. They are Cyclone Kufans. This species of Kufans are blue and gold with a gold wadget on their head that resembles the beak of a bird. The Kufans have the ability to stretch their limbs which are able to ensnare a tetramand or Vaxorian. These bandages are able to shapeshift, allowing the creature to scale walls and are highly elastic. They're inclined kinetic, they can attach and reattach their limbs and can survive in space. Anor Omero is the home planet of the species known as Omeroan. Only few have ever witnessed what these creatures look like, but are said to be zombie-like in character and nature. Anor Phaetos is said to be the center of where galactic chaos springs forth. This shadowy world is locked in perpetual darkness, home to one of the most feared species in the galaxy, the Ectoneurites. Ectoneurites are one-eyed, misshapen beings with an exposed skull for a head, which they can rotate all the way around in sharp teeth. Having a hole in their chest with tentacles that hang out, some Ectoneurites have more than one eye or head, but the uniting factor being their ghastly tail. These deformed aliens, although they are horrifically scary, can conceal this form within a second layer of thin gray colored skin they use to travel the cosmos and protect them from sunlight. Although they are ghost-like, these creatures aren't living dead, but simply just exist differently than other forms of sentient life. Ectoneurites are usually using their powers to conquer every planet in their system. They have the ability to possess other life forms, phase through solid objects. In their true form, they have the ability of telepathy and shoot beams of energy through their claws. They aren't harmed by mana, they can shift their density, and of course, fly. Luna Lobo is one of the moons of both the planet and the Transo, home to the werewolf-like species, Lobones. This moon has a forested surface being said as the most savage and yet beautiful places in the system. Having enhanced biology, prehensile feet and tail, sonic howls, night vision, and blades on their elbows, the bones native to this moon are very feral and hunt in packs with the thirst for blood. Neighboring the bones on the planet of Anor Transil have more control over their animalistic behavior being able to speak clearly with other aliens and know how to operate technology. Being held by stitches like the creatures that live upon it, Anor Transil is the linchpin of the Anor system. 
This planet is linked to all other planets in the system. The core of this steampunk-like metropolitan planet is exposed, being the home to all species of the Anor system. There are two notable aliens on this planet who are native, one of them being the Transilians. Transilians are large humanoid creatures with stitches littered across their bodies and conductors protruding from their backs. At first, these organic growths did nothing, but in time, this species learned to harness lightning through the storms above their planet. Viewing anything outside their world as unnatural and deformed, Transilians can have many reactions to other creatures of course, depending on who they are and their intentions. One of the species the Transilians are deeply not fond of are another native to Anotransil, the now extinct Vladets. Vladets are a vampiric alien species originally from the planet Anarvladius. Anarvladius was a large, spike-filled, rocky, honeycomb network of underground cathedral caves. All life was expunged during the mass extinction caused by the Vladets. The planet itself is now so uninhabitable, not even ectonorites could live there, and simply being in its orbit would drain the life of any living being. Vladets have the ability to drain the plasma of any life form and use that source as an energy. They have enhanced biology, the ability to fly, and control other beings with Corruptra. Corruptra are flying one-eyed creatures that are spat out of the Vladets' mouths and once attached to a life form, can be used to turn beings into puppets that are compelled to do whatever the bladder demands, albeit still aware of their surroundings and actions. The Vladets then moved to Anotransil, where they enslaved and became the predators of the Transilians. The Transilians would soon eventually rise against the Vladets, using their skills with technology and hunt the vampires down to extinction once more becoming the dominant species of Adon Transil. There are now only two Vladettes still alive in the known universe. And that is everything we know about the dark section of the Milky Way known as the Anor system. And remember, they see us as monsters as much as we see them as monsters. Watch out for Ectoneurites, steer clear of the Corruptor, and I'll see you when I see you.